Hello everyone, it's Paul from uh, Visio Far Project. I wanted to show you this work in progress prototype we have made at the workshop. Uh, it's still a really work in progress, so we have a lot of things we can do better on this prototype. But it is uh, inspired from uh, DIY Perks, which is a channel of uh, many good DIY projects. This is where I learned how to do LED modules, on how to set up uh, LED, and how to do this uh, very efficient and um, minimalist design for a projector. So the goal in this prototype was to have the simplest structure ever. So you just have 3D roads, four of them to do the structure with a few floors. So you have each floor with a function. For example, the first floor, which is uh, quite strong, is for the LED module, so we can attach it on it. You can also attach power supplies and many electronic parts. We have the second floor, which is with the Fresnel lens and the square of glass to do the visuals. And you have the last floor with the optics and the lens and the 45 degree mirror, uh, which is used to project um, anywhere you want. It is also possible to rotate the lens here, so you can project on sides if you want. And in this prototype, we add few issues and few uh, possibilities we wanted to explore. So it has a lot of good things, but also a lot of problems to fix now. So why should we build uh, something from scratch instead of just do projector conversion with LED? The goal here is to be able to do any modification after. So I just took parts from an existing overhead projector and I tried to remake uh, the existing function of the overhead projector. For example, here I just did a very simple but not efficient uh, yet system to do the focus. You see I have to push with my hand to just find the good position to do the focus and I have to adjust with these tiny pieces of wood. I can unscrew and screw again, so it's not perfect yet. It's not very efficient. I'm working now on a prototype of a focusing system with uh, 3D printers and CNC parts. And uh, it's uh, still not very, very efficient yet. But after, I guess it would be possible to do myself my own focus system from scratch with functionalities I need. For example, I can add uh, tiny motors and uh, switches if I want to motorize this system. I can also add button on the side if I'm a left-handed or right-handed person, so it would be uh, personalizable and corresponding to my own usage of it. All that's little things that are not possible yet on existing overhead projector, which are all the same in a way. The focusing system is always on the left, so if you want to have it on the right, for example, it's not possible. With a prototype like that, we would be able to choose any functionalities we want. Thanks to the four 3D rods, it's also more easy to add any option. If you want to add different layers of visual, you just have to add floors like that. So you can add another piece of glass or plexiglass and add your visuals. Uh, we also thought about adding some shutter here, so you don't just have to drill a hole in uh, the last floor and add some functionality like a shutter. You can also add uh, rotating things if you want to have uh, visuals or color filters coming through the lens just before it's going out. Even here you can add masks or color filters. And the last thing we will do after uh, we are quite okay with our prototype would be to close it on sides. And for that, you can just use any material you get from garbage or from hardware store. For us now, it's easier to let everything open so we can uh, work and do modification and find new ideas. But uh, for after, it would be very necessary to close it to protect the LED from uh, water, from uh, weather, and even protect the people from the light which is going out of the LED module and which is very, very bright. So it's necessary to at least close here. And uh, even after, if you want to do something which is waterproof, like uh, people are already doing with overhead projectors uh, by adding some modifications like some kind of tents. We show that in another video where Damien is uh, explaining a lot of existing system. 
uh, with the shredded roads we can add a, a little uh, roof just above it to protect it from uh, weather and also protect it from people if you want to put this in public space and have some kind of uh, yeah protection from people who would like uh, to uh, put their hand uh, in front of it to do shadows or thing like that. When you're doing li liquid light show on projector like that, it's really important to have something which is perfectly flat. So we thought to use the 3D rods to do the leveling uh, just above it, like by adding uh, some connecting nuts which are able to receive uh, other screws so you can set up the eight perfectly on each side and maybe add a leveling uh, bubble you buy in a hardware store so you can have everything uh, are perfectly leveled before you want to do a performance or a setup. We also thought about some animation system with um, taking parts from printers for example the, you know in a, in a 2d printers you have uh, the rolls which are taking the paper out and in of the printer and we can use that to do an animation system with a sliding effect of visuals in front of the glass could also be rotating with motors or uh, microwave uh, parts for example or turntable or record turntable parts every level of the 3d roads it's possible to attach something which is rotating or go in front of it so the, the goal with this prototype is to have something which is more customizable than uh, existing overhead projector if you do a led conversion inside an existing overhead projector you have a final product which is way more strong and um, clean than that but it's very harder to add a modification and um, create something different and after there is also with that the possibility to stack them above each other because uh, if everyone has the same size it's possible to put this one on another uh, to put this one aside others and fix them together so we have kind of a wall of a projector of the same size and design and a very minimalist and uh, customizable uh, shape and we also thought about the size you have to get between the 3d roads for now we just started with some standard uh, dimensions but it could be larger or smaller but never smaller than the standard size of the Fresnel lens and the square of glass those uh, dimensions are um, kind of always the same we just did a reference a document with every dimensions and we were thinking about maybe doing it a little bit larger but never more than 40 centimeters because it's also a standard in industry so you can for example put six of this model on a, a palette of wood Thank you for watching this video. As you've seen, there are many things to improve, create or remix. So please feel free to participate to the community. You can follow us on Instagram. You can go on our website visiofar.org where we have a lot of documentation and blueprints we share for free to help you build your own overhead projector or convert your original one with LED. Feel free also to go on the forum of Visiofar to share your builds, ask your questions, share your ideas. And together, I'm sure we can improve a lot the possibilities of this fascinating machine. Thank you and see you soon. Thank you.